Go ahead and try this question. On the SAT 2 math subject test, you're going to have questions on probability, but they're not going to be as complicated maybe as you think they're going to be, or maybe as complicated as questions you've done in a math class. Here's a perfect example. Bart's chance of winning a prize in a game of chance is 1 out of 8. If Bart plays four separate games, what is the probability that Bart will win zero prizes? So you may look at this and say, oh, is this some sort of binomial probability thing? You've got to use the little binomial probability equation and plug in all the numbers. And I guess you could use it, but it's totally unnecessary. And I haven't found, even though a lot of practice books will have questions about binomial probability, I haven't found it likely that binomial probability will actually show up on the test. It's just too... I think it's just a little bit too far for what the SAT Math 2 will actually do. But what you need to remember is how you would solve a question like this if we want to know zero prizes. And think about it. Uh, first things first, they're separate games, so we can treat the games as independent. So looking at just any one game, if his chance of winning a prize is 1 out of 8, then his chance of winning no prize in that game would be 1 minus 1 over 8, or in other words, 7 eighths, right? All the other probability is left for when he doesn't win. So the chances of not winning are 7 out of 8. And if he's going to not win four games in a row, all we need to do in this case, since they're independent games, is just multiply 7 eighths four times in a row. So when you have independent events, when you have separate games, as in this case, you just multiply the probabilities if you want to find the probability of a given uh, sequence of events. So in this case, 7 eighths times 7 eighths times 7 eighths is the same thing as 7 eighths to the fourth. So let's go ahead and put that in. 7 eighths to the fourth gets us 0.586, and that would be choice D. So as you can see, it's actually not as complicated as you might think. We don't need to use binomial, binomial probability, even though in some sense we are using it here. It's just a simpler case because all we care about is winning zero prizes. If you had to calculate something like what is the probability that Bart will win one prize or two prize, then it would require pro binomial probability. I just don't think you're going to see it on the uh, SAT Math 2. So when you see a probability question, keep it simple. Usually, in fact, probably always, it's going to be a relatively simple calculation. You just might have to do a little trick, like in this case, figure out that the probability of not winning is 7 eighths. But regardless, it's going to be pretty straightforward. Don't overcomplicate it. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll. And you can find the link in the description below the video.